One of the state's most popular markets for Native American art is still feeling the impact of the pandemic. Stores in Gallup tell us many Indian jewelers and potters still haven't returned to work. News 13's Jackie Kent has the story. Most of my uh, shelves are empty. Rows upon rows of bare shelves where there used to be Native American made pottery at Zuni Traders. Right off Route 66 in Gallup. I'm down probably about 80% to 90% down. In an emailed statement, the Indian Arts and Crafts Board says Indian country has been hit hard by the pandemic, namely the supply chain difficulties and surge in the price of silver and other supplies used for Indian art production. They hold back on uh, making jewelry or pottery because they don't think that we're going to give them more money for it. That board says Gallup in particular has been slow to return to business, in part because of travel restrictions to and from the Navajo Nation. When I first started, I had like six employees, and now I have one. But luckily for Red Shell jewelry owner John Horndeck, he says his shop hasn't taken a financial hit, though he may have to start operating differently soon. We're getting lower and lower all the time on inventory. We'll have to start here manufacturing and uh, again and uh, carry on. This comes as Interior Secretary Deb Holland is urging people to be diligent about avoiding counterfeit Indian art as another way to help boost tribal economies. Artists pass down their skills and traditions through generations so that every piece carries with it cultural significance, family history, and knowledge. Jackie Kent, KRQE News 13. A few shops tell us they're hopeful more artists will return to work once the unemployment bonuses go away in September.